Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to pair your Apple Pencil first generation to your iPad. First of all, let's make sure we have the right model of Apple Pencil. So in front of me, I have the Apple Pencil first gen and the Apple Pencil second gen. To make sure you have the Apple Pencil first generation, make sure that the entire pencil is a cylinder right here. If you have a flat side on your Apple Pencil with the Apple logo and pencil right after, you have the Apple Pencil second generation. If you need to pay your Apple uh, Pencil second generation, tutorial for that is in the description. Next, let's make sure our iPad supports the Apple Pencil first generation. In order to do this, it's very easy. Just make sure that the side bezels are larger than the top bezels. If that's the case, that means you can use the Apple Pencil first generation as long as your iPad isn't too old. So just make sure you're running the iPad Pro first generation or newer, iPad Air 3 or newer, and the iPad Mini 5 or newer. So once we've verified we're good to go, what we need to do is you want to swipe down from the top right to activate control center, and you want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Once you verify this, what we need to do is you need to get your Apple Pencil first generation, pop out the lid, and you should see this lightning port. Once you have this lightning port, you just want to plug it into the side of your iPad, just like this, and give it a couple of seconds. In a couple of seconds time, we should see a message on our iPad, and you can see right here, Bluetooth pairing request. Apple Pencil would like to pair with your iPad. Just tap on pair, give it a couple of seconds, and you should see that your Apple Pencil has been successfully paired. So if you have the batteries uh, widget right here, you should see your Apple Pencil show up. If you don't have this, go to settings, and then I want you to find Bluetooth, and you should see Apple Pencil, and at the side you can see my Apple Pencil has been successfully connected to my iPad. So let's just uh, verify this, because if I go to the home screen, I can now control my Apple Pencil with my iPad. So a couple of things you may want to know with the Apple Pencil. First, if you uh, drag from the bottom right or the bottom left, and you just move forward, so you can see right here, you can quickly take a screenshot. Once you've taken a screenshot, of course you can annotate. Now, when it comes to the Apple Pencil first generation, you don't have the double tap feature. So if you do need to erase stuff, you will need to tap on the eraser tool manually. On the Apple Pencil second generation, you can just double tap, but you do not have this feature. Next, if you're on iOS 14 or newer, so I'm on iOS 13, so I'll not be able to demo this. If you have a search field, you can actually use your Apple Pencil in order to uh, draw out the search field. And that means that every drawing you write, so let's say you you know write out hello, that will be converted into text and you can use that as well. And really, those are the essentials with the Apple Pencil. You really need to get a good uh, note taking application. The Apple Notes is actually pretty good. There's some alternatives as well. I would have recommended Notability, but they've now gone to a subscription model. So there you go. It is unfortunate they've done that, but it is what it is. That is up to you to do your own research for. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.